No, leave the music up. Less of me, more of them. Beautiful. You've heard them for decades, that recognizable sound of the Doobie Brothers, and now the Bay Area-born band is getting ready to rock down the highway once again. KPIX5's Gianna Franco got a chance to sit down with one of the founding members. For over half a century, generations of music fans have been doing just that, listening to the Doobie Brothers' music. This legendary rock band came together over five decades ago in San Jose, back in 1970. Singer and lead guitarist Tom Johnston, who is also a founding member, still calls the Bay Area home. Well, I've been in Northern California since 68, but I've been in Marin since 73. Now they're back on the road again for the second leg of their 50th anniversary tour. I mean, you might have a better lighting setup. Maybe you got to put the guy out front with sound. Um, you're still doing the same thing. And that's playing music to packed venues. In the early years, Johnston fronted songs like Blackwater and China Grove. When the crowds really get off and they're singing along with you, and they know all the words, and sometimes they surprise me at the songs that they know the words that I didn't think they would. Singer-songwriter Michael McDonald joined the Doobie Brothers a few years later. His iconic voice heard on songs like What a Fool Believes and Taking It to the Streets. Over the years, members have come and gone. McDonald and Johnston even taking breaks from the band at different times. But now, this tour, well, it's the very first time the audience will hear all of their songs spanning every era, sung by the same voices that made those songs so famous. They're getting, every, they're getting everything from the front to the middle to even three new songs off the newest album that came out last October. So we're covering everything. At 74, Johnston and his bandmates have gold records, they've got Grammy Awards, and oh yeah, a spot carved out in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They've certainly left a lasting musical footprint. We're reaching a level of, of basically three generations of people out in front of us. I mean, it can be people our age, it can be people in the 30s and 40s, it can be kids. Um, so that that's awesome as well. That's a happy feeling. As for the name of the band, well, that was supposed to be temporary. But the name kept holding on just like this iconic Bay Area group. Gianna Franco, KPIX5. Hey Siri, what's an icon? Hey, the band will be at Shoreline Amphitheater on Mountain View on the 27th and in Sacramento on the 29th. Then they'll fly to Southern California for two shows before leaving the state. Don't leave, stay here, keep playing. Time now for a look at our forecast with meteorologist Darren Peck in for Paul. Darren, you were dancing. Right I was just corner. trying to tell on you. It was like a time <laughs> machine back to my childhood. All so those great. songs, right. such deep nostalgia.